your spinoff. We're back! We're back! We're back! <laughs> Time! That was a for, better... <laughs> for <laughs> vote or die! Again! Uh, excuse the technical difficulties. Vote or die, motherfucker! Motherfuck. Vote or die! Okay, John? That's hit us. <laughs> you got some speed rounders for yep, us today. Yep, I got a bunch of them for you. So, first one. <laughs> made me think of it because yesterday um, was apparently Home Alone's 30th anniversary. Mm. So, I got me thinking. What are your favorite holiday movie? Ooh. Home Alone is clearly mine. I don't think there's another one in the stratosphere. Oh, favorite holiday movie? Yeah. Uh, Home what's Alone the one they show mine. for 24 straight hours every year? The Christmas um, Story. Yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a top one. I love that movie, but I won't say it's my favorite. I yeah. just watch it because it's like good vibes. Oh, I got a good one. The Night Before with Seth Rogen. Yeah, that's funny. And, uh, I don't even think about it. That's not a fucking holiday movie. It is a holiday movie. It takes uh, place on... South Park <laughs> Christmas special? Oh, that's a good one. Drake and Josh. <laughs> go, Drake and Josh, Merry Christmas. That is a great movie. <laughs> that when they, when they so make, tear the cheese up and make it like snow. <laughs> Wasn't Kimbo... Was that the one Kimbo Slice was in? Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah. Because they break out Josh from jail and Kimbo's is something. That's so funny. Yeah, mine's clearly Home Alone. I I think it's just oh, there that ah, I have an unpopular opinion. I love Christmas with the Cranks. Oh, you know, that's my, a good my boy one. Tim Allen. <laughs> I love that one. But that's a good not one, bad John. choices. Yeah. Disney or Nickelodeon? I don't know if we've discussed this before. Nickelodeon. Nick. They have Nick. You don't even have to think about it. I huh? gotta go, Nick. I, Disney had All good the, shows the that I would tune in for. The know, Hannah Montana but, disrespect. But the, Nick was more like uh as I got a little older, I was still a kid, but you know, you got older yeah. as a kid, you don't want to be a baby. <laughs> like, yeah, but as a, what about as a kid? Did Nick or Nickelodeon or Disney? Still Nick? Nick. I go, dude, Nick, Nickelodeon. I would right? honestly put, me personally, Cartoon Network before Disney. No, 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 no. Me no. personally. That's crazy. What's on, what's on Cartoon Network? That's Billy okay. and Mandy. Oh my God. <laughs> stop, stop. Okay, we're done. I can't believe this. You guys ever watch I Billy and Mandy? You just said Billy. <laughs> that's like Max and Ruby. That's no, no, it's not. They so hang out with Death, the Grim Reapers, yeah, living with their buddy. I remember that. I used to watch <laughs> oh, Nickelodeon. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z used to always be on Bro, Cartoon Eddie, Network. I'm with all Nickelodeon right now. <laughs> Drake and Josh, iCarly. You had Nick at Night, which yep. included George Lopez. Lopez. <laughs> um, Full House. Full House. The Nanny. <laughs> yep. um, family, um, family Matters. Family Matters. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, I didn't watch. I didn't watch a lot of the Nick at Night ones. Mine was more Drake and Josh. Uh, maybe Fairly Odd Parents. I, I, not Fairly Odd Parents is Cartoon Network. Is it? No, no that's Nickelodeon. Nick, yeah. SpongeBob. Because remember the Jimmy SpongeBob. Neutron crossover Neutron with Nick. With yeah, yeah. Remember the oh, crossover with Nick Timmy then, yeah. Turner and Jimmy Neutron, Dude. where they both went into each other's shows. One Classic. show that <laughs> would make me want to lean Disney, even though I'm not. Is Wizards of Waverly Place and Ooh, Sweet Life that's and a gem. Sweet Life, of course. Yeah. But like, that's a gem. <laughs> and Montana, people very sleep on too. And then, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, so we want to one on Nick. Nick, yeah, yeah. Victorious Nick, Nick kills it. it. Was Nick Victoria Justice? That was Nick, I believe so. Yep. Victorious. Team Nick. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything else on Nick? There's some really good ones on Disney. SpongeBob, obviously. Of. Like, what's on um? Uh, Disney Plus. I, I, I'm just All those right shows now. are on. I'm trying to play. I, I'm blanking on what Ray, it. Uh, co- was it Corey in the House? Oh, That's so Raven. That's, That's so Raven. Raven. Yep. Hannah Montana. Uh, what's the one with Shia LaBeouf? Or, or am I mixing that's up? Or no, movie. it wasn't Shia LaBeouf. Even, yeah, that, that's even Steven's was, movie. Even, oh, okay, that's, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. But maybe, no, even Stevens was, was a show. Even Stevens was a show, right? Yeah. Yeah, even Stevens was a show. And then they made it. Boy Meets Stevens, World, yeah. was that? Was that on... Disney? Boy Meets World is not Disney, is it? I don't know. That would I know they remade it with, like, Girl Meets World, and he's, like, an adult. Oh, maybe. And I thought it was on Disney, but maybe I'm wrong. It is on Disney Plus. Oh, yeah. Phil <laughs> of the Future. Phil of the Future. Corey in the House. Phineas and Ferb. Fire. Oh, Fire. <laughs> Phineas and Ferb. Sweet Life on Deck. Sunny with a Chance. Oh, Sunny with good a Chance. Good Luck, Charlie. Shake It Up. Shake It Up. Zendaya. Zendaya. Dude, Shake It Up with fucking... Not just Zendaya, but Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne when she was a child actress. I Dude. know that's crazy. <laughs> Bizarre Vark. Don't see <laughs> Bizarre Vark. Oh my god, I remember that <laughs> dog with a blog. <laughs> <laughs> remember that? What kind of yeah, show? Yeah, that's when I started that? tuning out. Right. Just, <laughs> oh, okay. Some classics from Cartoon Network. Lizzie McGuire. Ed and Nettie. 
Powerpuff yeah. Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, Johnny Bravo, Samurai Jack, Kids I, Name, see, Kid, Code Name, Kids Next All those, the thing about <laughs> that is, <laughs> I stopped watching, I had to stop watching Cartoon Network when I was like 10. Like, I don't remember watching those, like, in Yeah, that's school. a good point. Like, I feel like Nickelodeon spanned my whole life. Yeah, because of the sitcom aspect, too. I think gosh. Nickelodeon and Disney. And, and Nick at Night, Cartoon literally, Network. Nick at Night was almost like... Was like a little bit too like mature yeah, for you at right? the time when you were a kid. Wait, it was okay to watch. Yeah, and then Adult <laughs> Swim was just scary, so you stayed away from that shit. Like Adult Swim, yep. you'd be like, as soon as it turned on, broken, like <laughs> possessed. That's funny. Next That's one for one. next quick one for you: dogs or cats? Cats. I knew you were gonna say it. <laughs> That's why I put it in here. Like, the only dogs. answer is dogs. The I only answer dogs. is dogs. The thing is, I love dogs. Jake's cats too. are solid though. Never, oh, but dogs never misses so with the dog. cats. I love dogs. I just have grown up with so many cats and one dog. And, like, all my cats have been, like, like I love my cats. My cats like, have been, I had Ralph who would attack me and I would have to go downstairs to pillows. And then I had Gertrude and <laughs> Ethel. Nice. Gertrude died in the corner. The and Ethel was dead for four days before I even knew. <laughs> I've had Tiger, who lived to be 21. Boss. Boss-ass cat. Sweetie. Stewie. Oliver. Penny. I think the cats living till the, like past twenty is a game changer for cats. I think it's a like my cats live till past twenty years. Dude, so you said twenty. I have this girl in my Zoom class. Sorry, I don't remember your name, <laughs> but she has a cat that's twenty five years old. That's Damn. insane. Man. Yeah, She's chilling. Just chilling. <laughs> it looks no normal too. That's pretty nuts. I mean, she could be lying, but I don't know why you would. Anyone <laughs> She's that. lying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her next time to put it on the camera. Or you don't Where's his birth certificate? <laughs> Show me. Summer That's or winter? Funny. Winter. I put that down too because I think. Oh, summer. I hate sweating. Summer. I, I, I get sick even talking to Chad about it. I don't mind winter actually. And it's like a nice the change of scenery, sucks, but though. but yeah, I just. Towards the end, I get so sick of going oh. outside, and it's just so cold in my car. I have a good point, too. I, I brought this up to Jake randomly a couple months ago, that in the winter, you get off better fits, John. It's just the fact. Oh, that's true. You got better fits on. You can but wear that's, the but pants, that's subjective. long sleeve. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, why do you dress better in the summer? Why do you have nicer shorts? I feel like I look better in the winter. What? That's a fact, because I love wearing jackets. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But well, you know, some I don't know. But that has nothing to the weather. I just oh, don't I, understand but how you can go you outside and wear a and jacket. Ten degrees, you're like, oh, I like ten this. degrees. You I can like wear this. shorts and yeah, and, yeah, and you go outside and take degrees. your shirt off. <laughs> you can wear, wear a tank top. Like, <laughs> you, know, you can wear NBA jerseys in the <laughs> yep. summer. You can still do that winter. Play some basketball. Go get a tan. Go to the beach. Go for a hike. Play some golf. Summer got everything, man. What Winter about some hockey? What about driving in the snow? snow? <laughs> what about driving but in the snow? But this is the thing. Drive safely or Snow's, don't do it. Snowboarding is awesome. <laughs> you can do that in the winter. Basketball's in the winter, John. I play basketball in the summer, <laughs> Trent. Yeah, the season. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> Rebuttal? No. <laughs> Dark sodas or light sodas? Oh, this is interesting. I know. This um, one's tough for dark me, too. Sodas. I think Coke, dark sodas. Coke. I think I Dr. Dark Pepper. Too. Um... Root, root beer. beer, I like. Canada Dry, Sprite, Mountain Dew. See, I don't really, I don't like those as much. I really don't, even though. Mine would be dark too, but I think a lot of people would say like. RC Cola. <laughs> what? Yeah, that too. That's funny. Yeah, I'm, I love, like Coca-Cola is one, I drink it the most, so I would have to say dark soda. I've, yeah. I don't know if I, you guys are aware, but I pretty much cut soda out. I drink it maybe like twice wow. a month. Wow. I went from the about Mellow Mellow King. I went from about <laughs> six cans a day over the semester. I'm not kidding you. No, I believe. To, I drink like two a month now. So John, it's crazy. I don't know how. I how's it feel when you drink those two sodas? Oh, it's the best thing in the world. Oh, it's John's the best balls. thing in the world. Oh, it's, it's great. Pancakes or waffles? Oh, I've recently. <laughs> changed that and my opinion on this like i used to always be a pancake guy but i'll take a, a waffle now i'm gonna still not go blue pancakes. waffles any other color waffles <laughs> but, but, but a good no. waffle is a good waffle <laughs> i like blue waffles and breakfast waffles i'm very up in the air too i never liked waffles much until i went to school and they had the waffle maker in the dining yeah. hall and i would just put soft serve ice cream That's all funny. over the top and we it was got the a best waffle thing maker ever. upstairs we'll have to make some sometime yeah get some soft, find with, a way to make soft serve ice cream. peanuts on top. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, some nightmare sauce too <laughs> i love listen i started to love breakfast sandwiches with waffles like Ooh, this place i go to that sounds pretty fire job stop at Aguam, shout out they have 
waffle breakfast sandwich fire and another thing this is i mean this is like um what you call anecdotal (laughs) but sometimes i'll just be in a pancake from somewhere and it's just mushy you know what i'm saying i like the crispiness of little george's pancakes they're huge. They're the answer, best. Yeah. Fill the plate. I, re- I think I'm going to stick with pancake until I eat some more waffles. I'm not <laughs> experienced enough. All right, two more quick ones. Yeah. Best Thanksgiving food since we're just Almost a week there. or two away. Ooh, I, I love stuffing. Stuffing is my <laughs> answer as well. Um, honestly. Nothing better than leftover stuffing. Yeah. This is, this is so, this is weird, Don't right? Don't say cranberries sauce. Well, <laughs> listen, listen, it's going to be, I love mashed, mashed potatoes. Yep. It, you get the mashed potatoes, and then you get cranberry sauce, and you eat it together. That's, like, fire. I don't want to just say mashed potatoes. It has to be that combo, specifically. Gravy has to be on the stuffing, though. Gravy yeah. has to be included. Oh, Poured all everything. over everything. Yeah. I pour it on there. It's disgusting. I actually <laughs> do like cranberry sauce, which is weird. <laughs> but I only you have to eat it with the other shit. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not like you're just yeah. You know, oh, well, what can I? It's snack essentially on a there? condiment. <laughs> That's what it is, really, a Thanksgiving condiment. <laughs> Jake's just snacking on cranberry <laughs> juice. That's all I eat. Yeah, <laughs> just, just my hands. All right, last one. Just because I had to do one the other day and, and popped and made me think. What worst chore? Hmm. What's your least favorite chore to do when you're asked to do it and you're just like, hmm. God. This sucks. Um, Ooh, I just got asked yesterday to do it this weekend. Cleaning the gutters. Ooh, that sucks. I've never had to clean. Gotta go up on a ladder. Ask for that type shit. Yeah, I can't do that. Out. Out. <laughs> I would die if I had to go up to my gutters. Honestly, I get nervous on ladders. <laughs> honestly, this is gonna sound horrible, but it's a, the reason for it. It's, I hate when my parents ask me to bring Brody outside. My dog. <laughs> I'd rather bring him on a walk. I just hate bringing him outside, specifically for the reason. That our backyard is a, a dog shit minefield. Yeah. So every time I bring my dog outside, I switch my shoes. Yeah. Literally. Because I tread lightly. I literally, there was one week where I, st- I ruined two pairs of shoes in dog shit, and I was like, I'm never, I have to change yeah. my shoes every time I go out here. You just need a pair for dog shit. Yeah. Uh, going in the backyard. Literally. Moon I have shoes. shit shoes. That's what I got. Yeah, I, think, funny. I think mine has to be something related to my room. So I'd say my room is immaculately clean i pull my clothes away i have everything organized a very organized person but i think it has to be when i'm told like vacuum and dust your room i'm like Mm. my room is perfectly clean like why the hell i gotta do that or like when you have people over your house and not a single person's gonna step foot in your room and they're like clean your room like no one's coming up here for thanksgiving that's so funny i popped in my head because i empty the dishwasher all the time and it's just it takes like five minutes but it's just i guess see i'd hate it best thing ever i don't have a dishwasher i've never had my entire life my my dad just washed them manually mm. and i used to wash them for like two weeks and then i was like you're doing this all wrong like, <laughs> i'm doing this and i was like sweet that's so, so I don't funny do shit with the dishes except yeah <laughs> taking out trash is always bad but you know that's, that's quick. hilarious like, dude, you can do perfect and just whip them in the trash <laughs> swoosh <Yeah. laughs> That's that wraps so that wraps it up for well, me. That was solid, John. Thanks, thank thanks you for bringing the heat. I thought I had a couple good ones. <laughs> All righty, on to in other news. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> this is great. We're sending it down to two gents, one tr- or yeah, two gents. I thought I said two trends, one gent. <laughs> that would be a little more. Two time. gents, one trend. News correspondent Jake. <laughs> That's right. In other news, baby. <laughs> okay, this first one. Fishing friends come to rescue monkeys struggling to swim. Wow. Literally. Why the fuck is monkey in the water? <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? Doesn't matter. Friends are fishing. Ready? Uh, a group of friends in Brazil ended up acting as a taxi service for a monkey that was stranded away from shore. What the hell? The video of the encounter shows the men extend an oar to the monkey, which holds on to the offered support as the boat ferries to shore. The footage shows the men help the monkey reach a tree at the shoreline where it climbs to safety. Great. I saw monkeys one time <laughs> in Costa... No, in Costa Rica, yeah. Did it come up to you? Or Dude, was yeah, like they the take, rider? like, food from you and shit. That's cool. <laughs> they're basically like the ducks at, like, Stanley Park at that point. They just expect people to give them food, so they're, like, fake monkeys. <laughs> but they're awesome. Um, firefighters rescue a family of ducklings from a storm drain. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, and I should mention a lot of these animal-related... Yeah, right. I don't know. I don't know why, but the positive animal press. Posse vibes here. <laughs> Firefighters in Florida were called, of course, Florida. We're called <laughs> out to the side of the road to rescue a family of ducklings that fell into a storm drain. There's a, you can find it on Twitter. It's super cute if you want to watch a video. 
but it kind of reminds me of uh, that pig that saved. <laughs> that was saved, saved. The, the saved the goat. Yep. <laughs> go in the water. Go, go in the water. water. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> that's what I thought of immediately when you said the monkey thing. <laughs> Massachusetts man plants Christmas trees in potholes. Oh. I got, cool. right <laughs> I got it right That's here. I got it right here. That's awesome. John, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just a tweet. It's from at only in Boston. If oh, you guys are. Yeah. Uh, someone in North Attleboro yep. has planted many Christmas trees inside potholes around town as a passive aggressive way of getting officials to deal with potholes around the town. I you like it. Nice pictures. We should start doing just it. Filling the potholes with soil and then putting a tree on it. I just That's wonder funny. what you do if you drive over it. You just crush the tree. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably know that that pothole that was between. Phipps and Verizon in West oh, yeah. oh, it was That so was a crazy. crater and they finally filled it up. That's I just funny. think how funny it would be if somebody just filled it with soil and a, a Christmas giant tree. Christmas tree. <laughs> I mean, I guess then you can avoid it if, you, if there's a tree there. Yeah, it's right? Great. Like, yeah, great better plan. heads yeah. up. But, um, <laughs> that's a good one. This one, it's who brought up a man falling through a sinkhole? It was John, right? Oh, uh, no, the guy who fell into the rats. That was me. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. Another yeah, sinkhole rats. story <laughs> yesterday. Sinkhole opens beneath parked van in Los Angeles. Oh my god. Is there a video? Yes. <laughs> I, I would encourage everyone to go look it up. Um, the Los Angeles Fire Department said the vehicle was unoccupied Tuesday morning when the sinkhole opened underneath it. The fire department said the sinkhole had been caused by a broken water main that caused flooding, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, honestly, there's not really much details. It's just crazy that these things even fucking exist. Yeah. Excuse my language. But... <laughs> I want to show the other gents real quick. You know. Oh my god. Yeah, there's, it, the video just shows the the van like halfway falling. Yeah, it in the looks hole. like it's like falling that's into a portal or something. Yeah, that stuff. <laughs> that's cr- you so could just be nuts. walking anywhere outside and just uh, suddenly fall through. I would Yikes. never step foot outside again. Yeah. <laughs> it's PTSD. <laughs> Th- this is a quick one that literally doesn't need any details. Thing worth reading it. <laughs> Wandering emu lassoed in California neighborhood. <laughs> We're leaving it. We're leaving it. Who cares? Who cares? Dude, our man who knows, who has broken like three world records in the past three podcasts. The guy who, remember, what was he shooting? Ping pong, Ping pong ball balls? Yeah. Bro. Man, the same man, catches 18 uncooked eggs in his mouth for Guinness World Record. The Idaho man. <laughs> oh he's bad. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, this man is going out for, for everything. You think Every- he must make some sort of money by doing this, dude. I, mean, I bet you maybe he has like a YouTube that we haven't yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, part of this cooked or uncooked? Uncooked. <laughs> so part of the article said that this is actually very dangerous because they can break. I don't know. So yeah, yeah. So he even messes up a couple times <laughs> because you could break and then start choking, and then you're also getting like uncooked yolk in your mouth. I mean, oh it's yeah. Fine, but- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, crazy. This man just is good at catching shit in his mouth. <laughs> Quite the skill to have. Right. Another, oh, another yeah. animal story. Exotic lizard rescued after three days on a power line in Pennsylvania. Dude. A chameleon. Straining on a <laughs> power crazy. Like how squirrels sound wires. There was one up there for three days, and I guess someone finally called and was like, you know, you should get this... Uh, lizard down <laughs> that's wicked funny I know. so i must have been just watching that thing like that thing's been up there right <laughs> dude now this was a, a story martial artist martial artist hits 34 table tennis balls in one minute with nunchucks oh fuck which is what some type of guinness world record right and i couldn't find a video on here but what i did find was a video of Bruce Lee hit playing ping pong with nunchucks, and it's the most insane thing ever. And everyone should go look at it right now because <laughs> it's so insane. Look at this. He literally is swinging oh nunchucks while the other dude is using a ping pong paddle, and it looks fake. Like you know, it's fucking, <laughs> what the That's fuck? Nice. I think every ping pong uh, video I see with like professional ping pong players looks fake because of how hard they hit it. And how accurate it is, and Dude, how many times they volleyed I couldn't back and forth. Be- I couldn't believe when I saw that. Like I think I'm pretty good at ping pong, and I will, would get I would lose twenty one nothing. But I guess it's like that for any professional athlete. Yeah. <laughs> um, have Sorry. a little bit of on this day news, but okay, uh, okay. for November tenth, so we m- we missed it by yesterday. Day. Yep. Um, Sesame Street debuts on PBS. Damn! How many years ago? Um. Oh, okay. So. 
happened. <laughs> There's some other things that happened um, yesterday. Nothing, nothing interesting though. We need, we need, we need more stuff to happen on this day. We, we need. <laughs> Come um, on, November tenth, November eleventh. That's what I'm fucking saying. And um, last thing. Oh, last thing I want to show you guys. I found this Elon Musk holding a. A smoking Xbox <laughs> One. Sure. Why is Elon Musk holding a smoking Xbox that's a, One? That's Give a us great question. Uh, Jake, Elon uh-huh. Musk is very tech savvy, so that's a little, you know, surprising to see him with a, a system malfunctioning. I know. But this morning, <laughs> Twitter was off the rails as uh, a few videos were trending of the new Xbox Series X's just, <laughs> just steaming smoke out of that's the top so vent. That's so funny. And nobody really knew what was going on. Uh, right away, it was rumors that a lot of, uh, you know, almost like how the red ring happened, but, like, this is that version. It's, like, malfunctioning I think systems. That. But it turns out it could all be a hoax just by internet trolls. As I showed Jake, and I'll show John now. It's this PS5 video. five homers. I'm well, John, it's funny you Xboxes. say that. I was going to say, uh, they said yesterday there were reports that the PS5 apparently had its own red ring issue. Oh, and yeah, so, yeah. but we'll see. But... Basically, in this video I'm showing John, that I showed Jake too, Those this guy blows a vape big. underneath yeah, the cute. Xbox, and look how every video you've seen basically looks like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looks so funny. It literally looks like it's on fire <laughs> for the it's inside. So <laughs> but, you know, I think uh, I'm going to go out there and say that that won't happen to your Xbox Series X's if you choose to go with them. Unless I'm going to say it's an internet thing. Yeah, exactly. I don't want an Xbox. I don't want a video game system that big. They're and PlayStation's big bigger, big. I'm pretty sure. Can't you, can't, can't you get the like the smaller, lesser version, and it's the normal size of the Xbox? No, of either one. It's still I, PlayStation oh, has one size. For really? Both of them. And that the smaller Xbox is a whole different console. So less, it has less like slower processing speed. You know all that shit. So what are the two PS5s? There's one with a disc drive and one without. But a it, disc it's the drive. same exact yeah. size, same exact everything. Just one is the disc, one doesn't. Yeah. The reason really? is because okay. I think. I said this train yesterday, so like if you keep buying disc games, essentially the discs are smaller than the full download from the store, so you essentially have a little more storage. Yeah. But um yeah, there's no difference with really the PlayStation. But I know I thought about just you know, maybe somebody getting an Xbox Series S if they drop in price because that's the smaller one for like but you can't fit a lot of games on it and stuff like that. So I think I got this answer for me the other day, but Call of Duty Cold War comes out in two days. So I was gonna buy it and download it on my Xbox One. So what if I you can get, it get the, the PS5? No. How does it transfer over? It does. You have my Xbox One to my PS5. It doesn't. You have to get an, if you got an Xbox Series X, mm-hmm. it would transfer from your One to your Xbox. You can't transfer from Xbox to PlayStation because they're not like partnered. So like if you got it on PlayStation Four, essentially if Trent got any game on PlayStation Four that's for the PS5, he would have it for PS5. But you would have to get the Xbox Series X, like the new Xbox, if you wanted. To transfer over your games, so it that sucks. means I have no way of transferring my Modern Warfare and my Warzone things to PS Five. No, well, no, because it's an Activision. Activision. Yeah, okay, so you'll but, be fine with that. Yeah, but Cold War is not nothing I Activision. I, I would guess it's Cold not, War. but because I feel like don't they like they, usually they have use, a different company? I think now games. that they do <laughs> Infinity War and Activision work on like every game together. I'm pretty sure they pretty sure they used to like switch back and forth, but because that's I'm what's not sure. scaring me with all this. Um, is I don't I don't want to have to wait months to play some Cold War. I need that new zombies. In no, the Cold War, Cold War is, is the publisher's Activision. Okay, but but like I said, John, I don't know. I'll have to Google that. Yeah, yeah. it's my homework for the day. <laughs> yeah, but you know, PlayStation Five. With it's Same. exciting. It's a, an exciting time for gamers everywhere. What's going on is <laughs> literally PlayStation and Xbox made like a PC. Yeah, basically. like a whole computer system. But way cheaper, because an Apple fucking laptop is like a stack. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to sit here with this sexy Apple. <laughs> okay, Moving on to my final and other news for today. I had to update you gamer boys about what's going on. Give it to but me. But this one, I got my own little world record one, Jake. This came across mm. my feed. Meet uh, Rolf Buckholtz. 
the 60 year old man with the most body modifications in the world. Ew, what? Rolf Buckholz has oh, 516 body see. modifications. 265 of which are penis piercings. According to this article on allthingsinteresting.com. Do not quote me. me quote see. them. <laughs> Honestly, I don't... E- he has his eyes tattooed. Oh, yeah. I was wondering whether... Like, people get their eyeballs like, tattooed. What are the horns? You can get those implanted in your head. You want to look like, like a little demon? Yes. <laughs> yeah, people put those in their heads look like devil... Like, they're devil horns. That's what they are. All That's right. rad. The thing I don't understand <laughs> about that is, like... Like, I just took wow. my tongue piercing out recently because it got so fucking frustrating and dirty. I don't understand how you can get that many piercings. Like, things can get infected. Things can, like... Like, I don't understand how your body yeah. can take that and, many. Like, I guess after a the while... gauges. <laughs> He's yeah. got two of them. <laughs> He's pro- of them. And then he literally... I've seen a Vice video where people get their eyeballs tattooed. And that's what yeah, his that's eyeballs horrifying. are black. People should look it up. His eyeballs are the color, like, black. Rolf Buckholz. Not his <laughs> pupils, but the whites of his eyes are black. Yeah, literally. Related to clay, you think? Oh, <laughs> clay. Clay bottle. Clay. Clay bottle. <laughs> clay bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and yeah, you know, I just thought that was pretty crazy, the picture. Worth a thousand that words. Is, Everyone yeah. look it up. Uh, pretty, pretty funny and scary, also. Well, and then, yeah, I'm going to pass it over to Obi. I just, got, <laughs> I, I just had, you know, I just had one, one or two. I was going to, the Christmas tree was pretty interesting to me, uh, especially with that being so Dude, close to us. I, would love, I know. We should right, do that so. at the end of my driveway. I got we should, we got to think of something there. else. We got to think of something else besides Christmas trees. Uh, like, pop like pop put dance. butterball turkeys <laughs> in honor of Thanksgiving. Put butterball turkeys in the. Butterball turkeys. Or scarecrows. Maybe we can plant scarecrows in each one. Oh, joke of the day. Full circle at the end of the pod. Mm-hmm. I love it. <laughs> we could put spikes in the ground. Yes, and just destroy cars. (laughs) (laughs) That too. (laughs) Wait. Oh, never mind. I was about to say. We're not talking about that big story. Yes. Yes. Oh. (laughs) Maybe in the future. His his lawyers have advised against it. (laughs) Yep. Yep. Uh, The two Jet One Chat lawyers have advised against us talking about this. But we'll we'll, we'll wait until after. It'll be story time one day. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I got one one quick one to side at the last second. From NPR. Gotta give credit, you know. We don't want the lawsuits coming after us. NPR.org for anybody that wants to see it. So... A Dutch train ran off the tracks, and it was caught by the statue. Uh, it was caught by a statue, and I'm just going to show you the statue before I... This is the picture. So so you guys oh can look it up. God, yeah, this train was going oh, completely off the tracks. It blew that. through the tracks and was about to fall. I think they said 30 feet to... Yeah, 30 feet to the ground. And it got held up by a statue of a whale's tail, believe it or not. That's, I saw that. And it just crazy. hung there. Oh, daily dose of internet... You- at YouTube. Oh, great yeah. channel. Great yeah. channel. That's no entries or deaths. I just feel like if that wasn't Dude. there, like people die. Yeah, it's like, pretty crazy it, that tail, a statue crazy. tail caught. Yeah. <laughs> it's the like, deep. Or maybe there was a superhero there. <laughs> yeah. Caught it, left it resting on the tail, and then just Back. took off yep. before anyone could see. Yep. That's a good theory. <laughs> you know, I picture Toby Maguire. <laughs> ah! I was thinking the deep because of the yeah. Wall. <laughs> no, Queen Maeve saved true, the train. True, true. <laughs> Watch the boys. Like, on Amazon Prime. <laughs> Anything oh. else, John? That's all I got. Watch Palm Palm Springs last night. Solid movie. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get back on a movie awesome grind movie. a little bit if I can't play cold. If I can't transfer my Cold War over, so oh, I, I just buy it. Watched. A classic recently, Back to the Future for the first time. Really? I still haven't even seen it. It's really good. Yeah. Holds up? Yeah, for sure. It's Marty really McFly. good. Yeah. I, <laughs> dude, I did not know. There's some parts of that movie that are so much crazier than I ever thought. Mm. Yeah. Bro. Like, the movie opens up with the, the doctor getting shot out by, like, like Mexican gangsters. It's oh, crazy. shit. I was like, <laughs> and he That's dies. Right. It's like, what? This is not really a spoiler. It's like the first time. Well, I haven't seen it, I'm so... I'm pretty sure. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, I know. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it anyway, so... Chance to on The Sopranos, so watch it when you're done. <laughs> hey! Oi! <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Closing thoughts, uh, gentlemen. Some big Any- NBA news is coming soon. Oh, yo. Yeah, big NBA, NBA week next week. We yeah. got probably some free agency, free agency reactions, and then the draft. Yep. We can get upset about the Celtics. Number one pick. <laughs> Who's going number one? That could be our next sick Ooh, note. I hope it's not LaMelo, but LaMelo. someone's probably going to do it now that all the media places are going to trade the pick like... or the T-Wolves are going to take, take them? 
Oh, true, because that got reported today, too, that mm-hmm. T-Wolves want to move. But I also saw, what, was it, I thought it was they wanted to get another lottery pick. Is it that they wanted I to think move they might back trade. in the lottery? Yeah. Is that what it was? I, okay. so. I say they keep the pick. They're taking Anthony Edwards. Then the Warriors take James Wiseman, and they have their center of the future. Oh. I think the Warriors are going to trade or get Wiseman, too. Cause they're going to be scared. They would want to trade, I feel like, but they're not going to be able to. I don't think they'll find a great trade. Can you imagine it? Even if they don't do another trade, Steph, Clay, Wiggins, Draymond, and James oh, Wiseman? Know, yeah. Oh, they're gonna be terrifying. They're going to be uh, in the mix. It's been rumored <laughs> that uh, Lakers, Celtics, um, Lakers uh, Warriors on Christmas Day, primetime game on Christmas Day as well. Wait, they're going to – they're starting? That, uh, December, December 22nd. 22nd. So that will be the second day of games. Dude, Third day games. Wow, we need to uh, fancy basketball soon. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, we're ready. It's steaming up. <laughs> College well, basketball starts in two weeks from today. Two oh, weeks from today. two weeks from today. So excited, boys! That is exciting. Uh, the preseason tourneys. Hey, my two, my fellow uh, cast members are getting in tune yep. with college basketball this I, year. Yep. I start off by getting into some college uh, <laughs> football, football the weekend. The weekend. <laughs> is uh is the Atlantis tournament going on this year? Because that's the only thing I look forward to. In the the Maui Invitational with Bill Wallen. You don't look forward to that. <laughs> that's like, that's take a good shirt one. off. He hilarious. takes his shirt off. Yeah. The <laughs> what? I don't know. They're canceling. The Maui Invitational is being held in te- in uh, North Carolina now. Oh. Well, what? The travel They're probably not doing Atlantis. Yeah, a lot of things, lot of things are getting <laughs> The Atlantis about. Court Arena place is so sick. sick. Oh, so battle sick. for Atlantis. <laughs> NFL sleeper QB Kyle Trusk. Oh, Trask. Trask. Kyle Trask. Jake just told the, me about him the other love day. Love the research he's been doing. <laughs> oh, about. Jake Kyle went Trask ham the on the college football yeah, Saturday. You know. <laughs> he, broke, he broke like a first half record or school record or something for most passing yards or something. Florida, so yeah. Great. Their They're tight end crazy. is crazy. The Pats too. quarterback of the future. I'm just he was protecting <laughs> he them in a mock is, draft. He is really? Kind of like a, I think him and the Pats. QB. Is he white and tall? Yeah. I don't know how tall he is, but he's definitely more of like a. I don't know if he runs much. He's not. He's like a little bit moves around, but yeah. he's not quick, quick. Keep know? an eye on him to the past. Him and Zach Wilson from BYU. Remember, what? That's it. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Well, a lot of stuff to look forward. Thanks to. for tuning in, everyone. You can touch that dial now. Yep. Go ahead. Turn it down. Turn us off. Cut us out. Replay this is all it one more time to close out the show. Have a good one. We'll see you soon. That's Peace. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs>